Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. As you all know, in Scotland you pay the highest income tax of anywhere in Britain. You've also got the uh, the booze tax, you're getting licensing on your B&Bs, you're getting licensing on Moorland and use. They're taxing everything. And they've already announced a 22.5% increase on council tax. And it is that council tax that is going to be the big hitter because although they're making a claim that it's only the richest that will pay more not only is that a lie it's so spectacularly bad that everyone will be paying more and a quarter of people in Scotland will be paying more than they do in England and yet the SNP have always maintained that they are the party of low council tax can hardly be the lowest when you're about to have the highest it's because they like spending your money on independence. And they do have that billion pound black hole to fill. And the only way they know how to fill that, of course, is tax. It's everywhere, isn't it? Tax this, tax that, tax something else. That's all they have. Let's have a look at this article, see why this council tax rise is gonna ma absolutely massacre families and their budgets at a time when life is already hard. The SNP policy is to make it even harder but then we've always known that poverty and misery is what they want here goes so one in four scottish families is about to be hit by the highest uk taxes as smp are warned about potentially misleading claims potentially misleading claims is the polite way of saying lies but i've always said and you know this is the thing politicians always lie the SNP government has been hit with a warning that old property valuations are absurd and their claims about the average tax bill for those with uh, with higher on, on council tax banding, higher council tax bans uh, are misleading um, or lies as we like to call them. So SNP tax reforms will lead to one in four families living in Scotland paying the highest council tax rates in the UK. That's a lot of, an awful lot of money coming out of the local um, you know, economy, money that would be spent in shops and pubs and restaurants and things. So that's money that's coming out of there. That will directly affect everyone. The majority of properties with a council tax valuation of more than 58,000 will fork out more than similar homes in England if the SNP's proposals to hike bills for banned EH homes by up to 22.5% are adopted next year. This is according to the Institute of Fiscal Studies, the IFS. The SNP has also been warned that the claims of average tax bills for those living in bands E to G homes will be lower in Scotland is potentially misleading, i.e. a lie. The IFS warned that the property valuations are too old and they're out of date, having last been assessed in 1991, 32 years ago, meaning some could find themselves paying money uh, sorry, more or less than they need to. Scottish Conservative spokesman uh, Liv Smith said, coupled with their income tax threat, it shows that more tax is the SNP's only strategy for the one billion pounds black hole in Scotland's finances. And I'm going to take an exception with Liz Smith. Um, she's right insofar as tax is a very important part of how they're going to try and fill this, this big hole. But it's not their only one. We saw yesterday how they're taking a third of a billion out of social care uh, which is it's a crime against humanity that alone is an awful act uh, of desperation uh, the IFS found report found that someone living in a home with a valuation of £60,000 would pay £2,001 a year in council tax in Scotland following the proposed reforms this is £165 more than the same value of property south of the border. Additionally, bill payers living in a home valued at 85000 in Scotland would pay an average of 2590 a year after the reforms. £525 more than in England. And the plans to hike up taxes were published in a consultation form in July, the SNP wants to up the tax on properties in band E or above, in line with a sliding scale from 7.5% to 22.5%. Over a fifth, getting on for nearly a quarter, 
increase in council tax because they have not got the ability to stop wasting money on something that will never happen. Now, I think that this needs a court review uh, and they should be told that they're not allowed to raise money. Now, when you're getting, and this is, a, this is the thing, you're getting the likes of Glasgow City Council gave millions to foreign aid. A council gave millions to foreign aid. Well, if the council's so rich it can do that, then it shouldn't have to be putting up council tax. It's obviously got enough money that it could squander it on foreign aid. And where did it say it was going to give council taxpayers money away for nothing in return? Council tax isn't charity. Council tax is in return for services. Services that the GCC, for example, are not able to provide and yet strangely can give money away abroad. That's got to be a criminal organisation. Those people sitting on that council need to be sued for every single penny that they've wasted. Personally, not, you know, not the council, they personally. And if they have to sell houses, so be it. I tell you what, the next council won't be wanking money away like that, will they? Uh, in a press release, the Scottish Government said that even after proposed increases were taken into account, the average charges for bands E to G would be lower in Scotland than England. And that, of course, is a lie, because politicians lie. Uh, but if the IFS said it has presented this in a potentially misleading way, because it failed to mention that thresholds for paying each council tax ban are lower in Scotland and England than it has been since 1991. The IFS report said, whereas properties worth up to 58,000 in 1991, bans A to D in Scotland, accounting for just under three quarters of all properties, face lower average council tax bills in Scotland and England. For most values above this level, average bills would be higher in Scotland than in England following the proposed returns. In other words, they lied and you'll be paying the highest amount of council tax anywhere in the UK. The IFS called it for, called for this reform, saying the continued use of the 1991 valuations will soon graduate from the absurd to the lunatic. But then you've got the lunatics running the asylum. So what do you expect? It said the proposed hikes would result in those in band H properties paying around £800 a year more, raising up to £175 million. It said this revenue is equivalent to 2% rise in the higher rate of income tax, currently 42%, higher again than in England. The Scottish Government estimates that 28% of all properties are in bands E to H and will pay more as a result of its proposed reforms. Public Finance Minister Tom Arthur said the potential changes to council tax would affect only around a quarter of properties and even after they are taken into account, average council tax in Scotland would still be less than anywhere in the UK. They are dicking with numbers, trying to make it look good. The fact is Scotland will still have the highest council rate bans for anywhere in the UK. And just because some old woman is sitting in an old house that her and her husband managed to buy, he's died, she's living on a pension, doesn't mean she's got the wherewithal to pay the council tax that you've just increased by 22.5%. She could be sitting there vulnerable and now going to have to starve to pay council tax. That's what this government are doing. Now you could say yes, you could sell it and that, and yes, she could. But she's lived there her whole life. She might be slightly going uh, a little bit outsy, a little bit demented, uh, and needs familiarity. Are we really going to condemn some old woman for mental conditions? The SNP are. They're absolutely inhuman. And it's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. You're paying for the mistakes of these people. Let's, instead of charging the people for the, you know, the money that they've wasted, let's charge the people who've wasted the money. The politicians, the councillors, the MSPs, the MPs. Let's start taking their money first. If that was the case, if the first, you know, the first problems had to come out of the pockets, those making the decisions, decisions would be much, much better. Coming up. There you go. More spin and lies from the SNP. All oh, Scottish uh, uh, council taxpayers pay less. No, no, that's not true. Some pay less, some pay more. But the ones that pay less don't necessarily pay the least. And the ones that pay more certainly pay the most by a long way. They seem to keep wanting to tax the rich. 
They fail to remember one basic common precept, which is that the rich can get up and walk away. Perhaps not wasting the money in the first place would be better than trying to uh, to gather it from people after you've wasted it. What do you think, people? What do you think? Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've earned, I've earned your uh, subscription, so do please hit that button. Leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. And remember, they will soon be gone, hopefully. Please, God, hopefully get rid of them. Bye.